Hello and welcome back to Daily Buying Tips. I'm Dean Berman from Berman Buys. Today we're going to talk about the two things which make up what's called total returns in property. When you invest in pretty much any asset class, there are usually two ways you can make money. This is the same in property. The first way is through cash flow or income. In property, this is called rental returns. Whereas in business, this is usually called revenue, income, or sales. It's pretty much all the same thing. When you build a property portfolio, you can treat it like a business, and the rent you receive is like your revenue as you would have in a business. The scarcer and more desirable the property you own in the rental market will generally make the returns or the rental increase over time. The second part of total returns is called capital growth. In business, this is the appreciation of the company as measured by the start of the year's valuation versus the end of the year's valuation of that same company. Once again, all pretty much the same thing to help you understand how much the asset is actually worth. Changes in a property's value is the result of changes in supply and demand. Too much demand and too little supply, prices increase and vice versa. Rezoning, renovations, extensions, subdivisions are all examples of ways that prices can increase and increase the capital growth in the property. So too can increase population, more jobs in the area, uh, more demand for local amenities such as new schools that are in high demand, new shops, new cafes. Being trendy cafes to a local area can really increase the desirability of the area and the desire to actually live in that area for, for new and incoming uh, residents. Like in business, you want to increase the revenue and the valuation of your property. In turn, increasing your total returns, which is your rental income plus capital growth. If you experience a 4% rental yield and 5% capital growth in a year, you will have experienced 9% total returns for that year of ownership of that investment property. The reason why property has been so successful for property investors is the leveraged asset and the compounding effect associated with the leveraged asset. Hopefully now you can see there's more than just one way uh, that you generate returns with property.